guys, Dalen here, and welcome to this video. So this is the sixth day of the world event series, um, for me at least, since I am a day behind. Um, so yeah, um, I'm actually I actually figured something out today that I think I'm right, although I don't know if I'm a hundred percent right. So if I am wrong, put it in the comments, and I'm all right. I'll believe you because I don't know if I'm actually right. I just uh, t I just uh. Um, c tested it, but I don't know if I tested it right. So, um, what someone was telling me earlier today, um, because I wasn't in PvP for some reason, uh, I think it was probably just because I hadn't changed it and I had forgotten. Um, and I was a and I do this AFK mostly. I don't really like pay full attention to it. So, I come back to like check my count. And someone's like, Donning, you do know you get more experience when you're in PvP, right? And if you are care if you care about dying, you can just teleport away with your token. I'm like, I thought about it, and I didn't really, I didn't say this to them, but I was thinking it to myself. I was like, do you really get more experience in PvP? Um, I mean, you get more experience per game for per XP rise, but I, do you actually get more experience? And so I went and decided to test that out. So what I did is I, um, I was on, obviously I was on non-PVP at the time. So what I did is I stopped. I checked how much energy I had. Because as you know, energy, as you use it up, same amount as around, I, you know. Um, so what I did is I checked, um, I got, so what I did is I got one experience rise. And I, I checked to see how much energy that used up. It used up five um per one experience rise in non pvp and so i went and changed it to pvp and so then i came back and i got one experience rise used up 10 energy so i was thinking to myself well if you combine those two and since you get at my level because this does scale so it's not the same for everyone but at my level you get 10.5 experience per every five renown in non pvp and you get 14 i think 14.5 ish experience per every 10 renown in pvp what that means you get in non-pvp you get 21 experience per every 10 renown versus in pvp you get 14 so i think if i tested that right and i did my math correctly you get more experience in non-pvp it's just um two times as slow so if i am right and i'm not saying that i am right i just think that i'm right um <laughs> Uh, it's more, you get more experience in non-PVP, and so if experience is what you're going for when you're doing this, you may want to consider being in non-PVP, mostly because it gives you more experience, I think. At least at my level it does. I don't know if it does at every other level, but at my level it does. I think. Um, but yeah. So it really just depends, like, if I am right, um, it's kind of just, uh, balancing do you want to get more experience slower or less experience at two times the speed so it's kind of just there um just depends on what you want so i'm actually hoping maybe to get at least to 88 or 89 before the event is over i'm really hoping that i'll get there at least ideally i'd like to get 90 um but i don't know if that's gonna happen <clears throat> uh obviously since i'm gonna probably tomorrow see how much experience i get um in one day and then i'll calculate out how much how many days i'd need uh to cap for 90 construction and just kind of cross my fingers and hope that that the event runs that long um so i'll kind of just hope i guess so it's actually kind of funny i was uh doing ports earlier today and i got some plate missions and i was like of course when i don't need plate missions i get plate missions and when i needed plate missions i never got plate missions um so kind of sucked it was really annoying uh but whatever so right now in ports i'm really focusing on getting chi um basically because i need only 39 more chi until i get full sea singers and then i'll need to concentrate on get, making money for 90 crafting then i can go ahead and go get full death lotus um and i'll be able to sell my pernix or i could just sell my pernix use the money for 90 crafting and then get death lotus but i don't know i think i want to kind of i think i might try and make money for crafting and then so use it on 
craft thing. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. It depends on if my friend ends up wanting, if we end up going to uh, corp together a lot or not. If we do, I'll probably use corp money for skills. Um, if not, well, then I'll find my own ways. I may camp, like, Glacors or Gano Beast or something. Gano Beasts aren't amazing for money, but they're really easy to kill. They're really easy to camp, so... And the Gano Flakes aren't, like, they're not, like, super expensive, but when you stockpile them, they can add up. And they're, and they, and it's almost a guaranteed drop from Ganos, and it, they're, you get a good amount of them per kill. And, like I said, Ganos are easy to kill, so I may do that. I don't really know. I haven't decided yet. I, like, the thing is, like, I know a lot of different PVM methods to make money. That's not the problem. The problem is getting me, getting around to actually making the money. So kind of annoying i see those two everywhere all the time although it looks like mecca is almost maxed hmm. last time i checked she wasn't that's cool they're, they're like they're, they're a couple people in my home world i see all the time um so yeah uh i would ideally like to like i said to get 90 construction although i don't know how realistic that's gonna be it really depends on how long this event goes um and then I would also like to get 90 crafting next. Ideally, mostly just because um, Death Lotus, because I need it for Death Lotus, and then 90 Herb Lore, because I need it for ports. Um, and then farming will just. whatever. And then I'll do mining as well. Probably farming and mining will be my last two to get to 90 plus. Or construction, it really depends. It just. it really depends how much. Um, you know how much experience i get from this if i if i get a bunch um i may just buy construction and get it up to 90 depend just really depends how much i get so uh I love how we they did that that uh, Slayer and Prayer at bonus experience stuff. Of course, as after I have 99. So basically, it was pointless. And so basically, I have an extra 276k Prayer experience and 246 Slayer experience that I don't need. Because I have 99 already. So they're pointless. Um, it's really annoying when you get like bonus XP and like XP lamps for skills that you don't need anymore. Or, like, you don't need to get 99. And like, I have a bunch of bonus experience and skills that i don't really need bonus experience in i have bonus experience in con constitution which actually is almost out um i have some in ranged for some reason i have some a lot in prayer um so a lot in slayer a little bit in thieving so who who is this wow there's a lot of people that just came in here just noticed um usually there's not this many people in my clan chat at this time um usually but apparently a lot of people coming in usually it's actually I, i've been on it this time before and it's literally only been me which is like kind of annoying but I've, I've gotten used to it really and since i haven't played runescape in a long time you know it doesn't really matter to me but yeah so i have one two three four five more skills to get um 90 to 90 before i have 90 plus skills and th four of them are viables really I mean, farming technically is, like, half a viable and half a grind skill. Mostly because you can, if you buy treat, like, magic seeds and stuff, which are pretty expensive, you can easily get the, to le your levels because it gives you fast experience. But, um, and if you buy lower tier, like, tree seeds or, like, herb seeds or whatever, it'll take longer. But at the same time, you still kind of have to wait. Or you could just do warbands, but I don't really do warbands. Anyways, um, boom, boom, boom. I'm thinking about buying the premiere package after Christmas because I want to, one, I want to see if I get money for Christmas because I don't know if I'm going to or not. I really don't know because I haven't asked my parents for anything because I don't really know what I want. Um, there's really actually nothing that I really like, really want for Christmas, really. I just used really like three times in the same sentence. That was pretty awkward. Um, I don't, I don't really know what I want for Christmas, so I haven't really asked my parents for anything. I've literally asked them for like, one thing and that one thing was like one of those things that you put up in your car that um your phone sticks to so like when i want to use my like use my iphone for google maps and stuff for gps um i don't have to like pull over um to do that 
So that's one of the, that's like the only thing I've asked my parents for for Christmas. I know that my mom got me a couple pairs of pants because I need new pants. Um, and I got, and I went shopping with my mom the other day and I bought a pair of new, sh- a, pa- a new pair of Vans, just like gray with a uh, black trim, I think. So I have those that I'm getting for Christmas and then I bought like a couple of sweaters and stuff because it's cold. I don't really have like. I don't have, um, really any warm clothes. Honestly, I don't really have any, so I was just working on it. I was just getting some, uh, stuff, and so my mom said there'll be Christmas presents. I don't really need them right now. I need, I'll, I'll just need them before I go back to school. Uh, and I also, so I have to also, I have to go Christmas shopping for my, my parents, because I haven't done that yet, so I need to save up money for that, or use my money on that. And then I also want to see how much my books are going to cost, um, for college, because if I have enough money to pay for it, I'm gonna buy my books myself, um, mostly because I feel really guilty, um, that my parents have paid for the last two semesters of college, and I don't have a job, and I don't, haven't gotten any scholarships yet, I'm working really hard to get a job right now, but obviously in the economy, it's kind of hard, um, and I want to stay away from fast food as much as possible, it may end up that I may just have to do it, but as much as possible, I'd like to stay away from fast food, because I hate working with food, and fast food is kind of gross. So. And then also, my GPA was not amazing in high school. So I'm hoping that my GPA now in college will help me a little bit. Because I've been trying to keep a pretty good GPA. Um, so hopefully, it'll work out. Um, so anyways. Uh, so that's how what's going down. I probably will end up buying Premier Packages. Like, I have the money right now to do it. I just have other things that I need to do with my money. Um, so, I think that's really it. Um, Armadillo's leading by 2.4 right now, um, 2.4 mil. It's looking less and less that Bandos is going to be able to catch up, but at the end of the day, it is still technically possible. You know, it really, it just kind of depends, I guess, on how many people near the end decide to hop ship and go to Bandos to unlock stuff. It, that, I think at the end of the day, that's what's going to um, decide if Armadillo wins or not, is how many people jump ship at the end. Because that's kind of the, what I know a lot of people did with the last event. A lot of people ended up jumping ship to get the other gods rewards. And it kind of just depends how many people do that. And how many people from each side do that. Like are more Bandos followers going to do that? Or more Armadillo followers going to do that? And is the lead going to be small enough for it to matter? So it really just kind of depends I guess. Um, so we'll see. It's only literally. It's like only like. It's only like a week into this. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. Um. So, anyways, guys, I think that's going to do it for me. Tonight, I'm probably going to finish off capping. I may go make a little bit of money, and then I'll probably... I don't even know what I really want to do tonight. I may go to bed early. I'm kind of tired. So, anyways, guys, um, hope to see you later. Thanks.